Okay guys, welcome back to my channel. We have another video here. This is a 2007 Honda Odyssey. Customer complaint is that the ABS is uh, activating when he's going into slow speeds. I already test drive the car and I reproduced the symptoms. Uh, one other thing that I noticed when I had the scanner connected, uh, it was that the battery voltage is dropping a lot. So let's uh, identify the car first. Let's do automatic ID. I got the car running right now. Hopefully that's coming out good on the scanner. So let's first go to the anti-lock brake systems. And uh, let me show you the codes. So as you can see we have the right front wheel speed sensor failure. And also we have a battery voltage high. So that's why I went over and checked the battery voltage on the data again this is in the ABS system let me do a custom we don't need all the pits so I'm going to deselect all so let's get you know the RPMs all wheel speeds and let's get the battery voltage and let's go back to view so as you can see right now, the battery voltage is in 13.7, 13.8, which is, let's say, considered normal, the car is running. I have no loads on it. <coughs> so let me, I'm going to turn the lights on, turn the AC on. Apply the brake in the high beams let me graph that so you guys can see it better this is the battery voltage look at this it went from 13.9 to 12.9 by just holding the lights and all the high beams on with the rest of the loads I don't have just the radio on so right now it's coming down more 7 12.6 and so on it goes up to like 11.9 as soon as I release the either the lights the switch it stays a little as you can see the battery recover a little bit if I turn the AC off it goes immediately to 13.9 13.8 so my first thought is maybe a connection in between the ABS and the main powers or grounds or so. So I went over, I exited the ABS module. Um, I went to the engine data and I went to accessories data. That's where the battery pit is. So let me customize this too. I'm going to deselect and Again, just vehicle speed. Might drive the car, I'm not sure. Oh, we have the alternator percentage in here too. I didn't see that before in the battery voltage. So let's go back to to that. So we have an alternator at 65%, just, <coughs> just in idle. So that's, that's kind of weird because I got no loads. Forget about this because it's just... Uh, 13.5 13.7 so it's just a mid max are not you know update <coughs> so just by having the, the brake pedal applied that was to 65 now it's in 1660 again I'm applying the brake it goes up to 65 percent okay sorry the lights are on I'm gonna set up the air conditioning the fans are now on too and I'm putting the lights on, high beams. See how rapidly that is dropping down. We have now the alternator at a hundred percent. So that's that's a good 
a good pit in there I, like I said again I didn't see that so this is telling me that we have a problem with the alternator it's not producing enough uh, amperage enough voltage and amperage to you know to supply for the car it's trying on a hundred percent but it's not supplying what we need because right now we have again you know look 12.2 12.3 customer also state that sometimes even the sliding doors for the back doesn't want to operate and i wonder i mean i wonder no I'm, i know now why so again i'm going to release the high beams let me turn them off I released the brakes, the AC is still on and the bolt just went up to 13.4 I'm going to turn off the AC and you can see that at least the percentage of the alternator went down to like 59, 60, now it's in 65 nothing is applied, well the fan is running and actually the radio is on, it's not sound but it's on I just turn it off too. So I just don't want to attack that uh, ABS right from wheel speed. It's very weird that we have a you know battery spikes like this, and it's just throwing one coat on the ABS. It might be a bad sensor or wiring. But I want to attack, attack this first before anything else. I mean, it's definitely a concern that you have to be careful whenever you're working on a car. Forget about the rest of the codes and fi fix your battery voltage issues before anything else. Because, I mean, with the spikes, it goes from 12 to 13.5 just by driving the car. That's going to make the modules go crazy. So it looks like this alternator is definitely with a problem. It's going into 13.5 to 13.7, 13.6, which that will be is still okay. But again, as soon as I, you know, set up the lights, AC on, radio on, brake, high beams, the alternator goes to 100%. It goes to 100%, but then the battery voltage is dropping down to like again very very low Twelve three. I went up to 13 right now it's trying to work as soon as the fan went off so it's like I said you know the loads is it's just too much for that alternator I'm gonna probably connect the arm clamp with the oscilloscope to see what is actually the alternator producing and how much is sending to that battery right now is holding good without that fan going I got the high beams on just release it we set up the rear AC2 put as much as load we can into that alternator uh, there isn't a hundred percent it's holding Just went on. That's a clue there. So maybe that fan is drawing too much amperage. Hmm. I have to look into that. You see, a fan, as soon as the fan goes off, I can have the lights on, brake is on the battery stays okay so with the lights and with the brakes let me get the AC off I'm not gonna do use the AC I'm just going to use the fan so let me turn the AC off and uh, let's see what the fans that is just a fan in there I mean blower inside the car high beams we got no problems okay it still is a little high for me 80 80 something percent 
as you can see by releasing lights and so it's reaching a hundred percent no alternator should reach I mean it's not in a, in a hundred now it's like 80 85 percent 87 the voltage is sustained you know constant but the percentage is going too high okay right now I'm going to lower the blower I'm not going to I'm going to turn the lights off for this test now and I'm just going to turn the AC on as soon as I turn the AC on look at the spike that happened in there I went to like 12 12 point something just by itself it is able to maintain the power but you can see the spike okay that's now off I'm going to turn it on to see that spike again see with no loads it's in a 54 55 percent AC on this time we got no spikes but the fans are not going now they're gone not such a big of a spike applying the brake high beams you can see it's just like immediately drop and it goes up to 100% so okay I have to check the things I will have to check you know what is the draw on that uh, fans on those fans but this is definitely uh, you know guiding me to the alternator that a hundred percent is definitely not supposed to be happening all right so let's just stop the video here let me set up the scope in the front and check that alternator all right i was checking that first part of the video and i noticed that uh, the numbers for you guys was impossible to, to read so I want to record this before I go back in the front. I mean, not back. I'm going to the front to check the amperage and so on. So again, I'm going to do the test so you guys can read the, the values better. So again, I'm setting up the lights on. AC on. Brake pedal is on. Radio is on. The fence has not come on yet now they're on as you can see right now let's see the drop it's still maintaining it but look at the uh, the alternator percentage it's going up to like 99 percent i'm going to set up the high beams now and you can see there's it's definitely not able to keep up with the demand 12.2 12.1 so that is definitely definitely our issue i think this is definitely telling us a screaming alternator but I mean we have to check everything I'm not going to replace anything no sensors not doing anything else to like correct this and then drive test the car and reproduce any ABS problems so right there is no high beams I released the brake pedal alternators is still at 96 percent it's trying to keep up with like 13.4 13.2 I'm gonna set up the AC off And you can see as soon as I let go of that, the percentage goes kind of like, I mean, normal 60. I would probably like to see more like 35%. If I replace this alternator, I will show you guys what a good alternator should read. If this is the issue, I still got to check the voltage drop in the wiring, uh, main wires for the battery and alternator to, before I condemn this one. Well, let's, all, let's go to the front. All right, guys, I set up... Uh, the multimeter I have also the thermal um, imager from Fluk and I have a battery tester from Etronix that also checks the alternator and so on so for this one the alternator is fine uh, this is a very simple tool to use uh, you just connect set up the CCA from the battery which is in this one is 550 and then um, it does it pretty much automatic you start a card and it tells you if he, you know the alternator is good let me set up my microphone better so I can use my hand so as you can see let me turn the light off so it's better to see if I check the uh, 
that it started right now as it started before it was 10.67 that means it's good you know anything about 10 is perfect and the alternator test passed so so it was the battery which is brand new but again you know we have some sort of an issue because I'm going to show you I have this uh, small clamp which is being very accurate for this kind of test so right now we just engine running no loads uh, as far as I think it's just a radio on yeah just a radio on which is not a big load if I go over to the main wire let me move the lead for the voltimeter which we're not going to use for now I was using it for voltage uh, drop test so the alternator is producing a uh, 19.217 so like around 20 amps that's fine but then when I set up the AC the air conditioning uh, let me put that on let me turn the lights on uh, that's it That alternator goes up to like 80, 80 amps. Right now it's at 50, 67. The fans are still not on. The battery is 13.95. So right now, look at what the fans comes on. It goes up to 80, 82. I mean that is from 20 amps. To 85 that is a 65 amp difference so let me turn everything off Oops, sorry for that guys that was a microphone <laughs> that was a microphone sorry for that hope the audio is coming good so right now as you can see the battery voltage went up again and when I check the amperage coming out of the main battery cable, it goes down to 20, 19, so 19 to 85. That is a huge difference just from lights and uh, air conditioning. Let me just set up the air conditioning to see what the load required for that goes up to. So I just got the AC on in there. Fans are running but just in slow speed. 29, that should be normal. 30, I mean 10 amps. Two fans running. That should be okay, but look now 40. And there is just in low speed. They're not in high speed. The problem for me is in the high speed on those fans. So I went ahead and tried to check the voltage drop, make sure we have no issues of wiring. So we have um, negative lead test on the positive side of the battery and I'm in DC voltage so, so so you guys can check that it's reading good so we're in 13.9 that test is at 14.06 so we're very close my main concern is doing a voltage drop on those wires that feeds that uh, fuse box that's where the main wire for the alternator goes through so I'm checking in there 0 0.01 0 0.02 that's perfect so that's looking out with the high I want to see that I'm sorry guys jumping the gas so 37 49 60 So that's around 60 amps just on those fans. Of course, the engine is running, so I need for the computers and so, but the big difference is on the fans. So going again, I'm going to check the other wire. That's, let's say, you know, the, the one that goes to the battery. Again, no voltage wrap. So those are the main wires that I was worried about. We got another fuse box in there, which is supplied by this one. That's not a problem. So it looks like we have no voltage trap on any other wires. See? 
that's how you do a voltage drop it has to be as close as zero as possible so that means we're good in there one other thing that I noticed and this is using the thermal thermal imager I hope this shows up good on the video and I see that is I have a very hot spot on the bottom of that fuse box it's not just like I mean yes definitely on the top we have you know fuses and and relays that are going to be hot like that green one in there the one on the right is one is uh, maybe 155 which is you know it's a, a normal let's say a normal condition for a, for a, a relay that is working that one on the back is in 140 it's very hard to see with the image that call but so if the relay is up in the top right under that relay is where all the heat is coming from and that relay that green relay we see there guess what guys if you see the box right here that's our relay right here that's the engine fans so we have a problem I think on the bottom of those pins I'm going to turn the car off and I'm going to remove that relay to see how that is underneath off turn the car off see if I can remove that with my hand otherwise I might got to get the applied for this now I did come out good no I don't see anything it is definitely very very warm Oof, yes like toxic but you can barely keep it in your hands let me measure this one off Let's turn it on. Come on. Takes a little bit to come on. And it does it automatically, so alright, so the temperature on that relay right now is I mean definitely a dissipate is 125. Let me turn this light off because that affects the image on the on this. We can see that we got still a lot of heat under that box. That is definitely on the box. We got a lot of heat where the fuses are. Most of the here in another one source right on the middle too, right there. And uh, one of those fuses in there is also for the fans. Let's see. Now actually we had the other relay on the back is for the fans too on the air conditioning is the black one sorry is that black one on right there so the image is also guiding not a straight to the relay but buried under it so you guys can see well that's the same you heat so we got the computer right under this which is hot too but it's normal I mean it's 130 it's in the engine compartment so my main concern is that heat in the box I don't think that is correct and I think that is mostly because of the fan relay the bottom I don't see any melting in it huh gotta study this a little bit more I mean definitely we have an issue with us 40 amps this is definitely not normal let me turn this off sorry for the glare in there All right, powering off power this off the batteries same thing with the test we don't need it now so we have a 40 amp ramp actually actually even more because if we add the light it's going up to like 65 amp draw or you know load on it which shouldn't be those fans are probably more than 20 let's say you know a spike of maybe 25 30 amps but that's just a spike and then when they're normal they, they should be like 10 15 amps i might be able to actually measure that on the wiring for each of the fans let me see if i can do that let me okay that in uh 
come back with you guys. All right, my uh, small, I got my uh, small AC clamp attached to one of the fans. As you can see, that's, that's just running in low speed. The air conditioning is on, but there is only drawing 3.6. It's better without the light. Let me turn the light off. Okay, so we're drawing 3.6 amps, 3.5 battery is in 14 amps I mean 14 volts AC is on let me turn that light on so we put more load on to sorry for that guys but try to hold the microphone in the camera at the same time just looking for those fans to come up in the high speed I got the other one exposed as well <coughs> Just trying to figure out where the issue is. I don't definitely don't like the heat on the bottom of that uh, fuse box. I changed the fuse. I mean the breaker. Sorry, <laughs> the relay for one of the ones that I have a uh, you know for testing. I got the one outside here, and it doesn't look like it's melting or nothing. Nothing wrong with it as far as you know the outside. Things are clean. Come on, I need to see that in high speed. If I can make that uh, react in the high speed because I need it. That's what I wanted to check. High speed. I get the car hotter. Okay. So as you can see, the draw on that one is only 8 amps, 79, 7.9. So let's say both fans will be 8 amps. Let's call that 8 amps. Let me check the other one very quick. Sorry guys, that's a horrible shot, but I have to get the clamp off and I'll put them into the other one while the fan is in high speed. And it's the same as 8.5. That's the other fan, so we're drawing 8.4, 8.5. That's high speed. Voltage is very low right now, 12.9. So definitely our fans are not the issue. So you can see if I go back to that alternator, 75, 80%, I mean 75 to 80 amps. Hmm. This is a very interesting issue. to open that fuse back to see if I can find anything in there what is demanding so much amperage that's my question all right guys uh, another test that I want to do is actually the voltage that alternator is producing when the fans are kicking on the high you know highest highest speed I got the AC on and the lights on so far the alternator is keeping up and again it's producing like 80 amps and it's keeping up to like 13 and a half volts which is a little low not too much but it's a little low but let's wait till those fans kick on we'll notice that in a second because I think this alternator is just it's, it's bad so we need to change the alternator because it's not producing enough voltage is trying to you know raise up the amperage but the voltage goes down too much I check everything you know like I said you know I, I see that fuse hot I mean that relay hot and everything on the box but no melting wires the connect the connections are clean I even uh, cleaned the or removed some of the stuff that he was having on the battery terminals they were clean and everything I just wanted you know to see if it's uh, any problems with that but no there, that was not the issue I clean out actually another ground there is under this tester that I have there. So let's wait for that fan to kick down. They're now running on low speed. Hopefully that's showing up in the video. Yeah, they're on low speed right now.
I'm definitely calling off the alternator. We're gonna see, you know, when that fan comes on. So the alternator should keep up no matter what the load it has, it should keep up the voltage. Again, we don't have any wiring issues, no connections are clean. Relay gets hot, but nothing abnormal. So I'm focusing on myself right now on the alternator voltage. Come on, fans. Got the car off for a while, so I might need a little bit more temperature for those fans to come on. See right there, it's kind of like a little normal, 13.9, 13.8, that should be normal. But as soon as those fans goes up to high speed, the alternator cannot keep up. And we saw that the draw on the, on the fans is not major. I mean, they go from 3.5 and low speed to 7.8, 8 amps, which is normal. I don't see, you know, a huge spike. And if it would be a huge spike, it would blow the fuse. We're going to step on the accelerator a couple of times to see if that high fence comes on. Just warm it up a little more. Alright, we have now the alternators in high speed. And you can see the voltage is dropping very, very fast. 12.9 and it goes to 12.0 well you know 11.9 which we saw before so this is definitely an alternator there is not producing enough use it's trying to you know compensate with amperage but it cannot keep up with the voltage and it's not a drop it's I'm um, like I said again I got I got my meter connected right to the alternator bat cable and onto the negative of, of the battery and as you can see here on the tester, we have connected straight to the battery, it's the same voltage. 12.8, that's almost no charging or no voltage going into the, into the system. That's almost battery voltage. So I'm calling off the alternator. I'm going to replace the alternator. I'm going to show you guys after the, the repair. When we put that new alternator and see if the voltage stays up or not. Okay guys, uh, I have the alternator here, not installed yet, I just want to show that it's the OEM alternator. So I'm going to start removing this uh, from the vehicle, I haven't started at all. I'm going to disconnect the battery and start working on it. So let's see how it goes. I'm not going to show the remove and install of that, it's very simple. You can check you know, all the videos on the web for that. But I will show the after repair. So we can see the values of that uh, charging system. Okay guys, the moment of truth. I have the alternator installed. It's quite simple. So I have the scanner connected to the vehicle. As you can see right now, the vehicle is off. I'm going to start it. I don't know why the test that I want to do is with the car running. So I should that adjust the view. Alright, so we're going to click in the horn now. Wait for the scanner to recognize them. So that's a 2007, as you can see there. Let me go to engine. We're gonna go to data, and in here we're gonna go to accessories and data. Accessories data. So I'm gonna customize it again. We don't need all the pits, so I deselect all, and I'm going to just select the ones I need. So uh, AC switch, alternator percentage, battery, alternator control too. Um, what else? Okay, we need the fans, make sure the fans are coming on. And then the main relay. I think that's you know pretty much what we need. So let's go to least view. And to put the ones I want on the top, I can see a big difference already. Okay, that's 42% just an idle. And to put that in in graphics so you guys can see a little better. So right now I'm going to set up the air conditioning. I'm going to turn the lights on, very high beam as you can see. Okay, that is a big difference already since just the start. We can see that we only reached 60, 67%. Battery voltage is sustained. Well, it's now climbing to 70 tonpin. So let's just give it a little bit of a time. I'm not 
sure the fans are going. So right now we have fan low and the fan is not in high yet. So we'll, we'll wait for that. That was a main issue. Hmm. I like that 73% with all those fans in there. But we'll see. But it's very cold. I'm gonna speed up a little bit the temperature to see the high fan coming on. Well, that dropped down now to 52%, which is good. Remember, the alternator was just an idle before, too, so All right now it's on. Okay, we got a with the fan and on, we got the percentage at 85, but now the voltage is staying very, very nice. So 13.7, 13.5. As you can see right now, we got the fan on, now it went off, which is kind of like the normal procedure. But as you can see, the battery never dropped to, to 12. So my goal right now, I'm going to take the car for a test drive. So before we go there, I gotta put something special on my microphone so we don't catch up all, all the air noise. So one second guys, I'm gonna keep the car running and everything like that. So you guys can see that, but I'm going to um, put something on the microphone. Okay, back in business. I put the, it's kind of like a very thin cover in the microphone so it doesn't get all the air noise. Let me turn my light off. So everything is working normal. Right now we got the fan in uh, low, voltage is staying, even when it was in the, in, the, in the high. That's why I put that pin in there. So you see right now, I mean, it's in high, 70, 87, 85, voltage is staying. So sometimes it's good to not overanalyze some of the data. I mean, we're not reaching the 100% yet. We got pretty much the heaviest load on the car. And the voltage is sustained, so definitely the alternator was an issue, and that is definitely a fix. So let's uh, take the car for a test drive. I'm going to switch this view. Let's just, I'm going to call this a fix, and um, on the alternator part. And now I'm going to switch the scanner over to um, ABS, which was uh, the other concern. The activation on low speed with the ABS. So let me go. ABS system. Uh, let me see if we got any codes. I disconnect the battery to replace this alternator, so it might not be there. So I will. It's still there. So as you can see, we have those codes still. So let me clear those. You know what? We got them saved. And I want to make sure you know we start fresh. And if something comes, it's going to be just on this on this trip. Right, so let's go to data. Again, I'm going to customize that. Deselecting everything first, RPM, all the speed sensors. And from here, I just want the battery voltage. I don't think anything else in here. Let's see what else we got. Yes, seven angle and stuff I don't need. So the problem is in the right front. So this is the right front wheel. And I'm gonna put the left front wheel to it here. So we have a want to check the battery voltage is at the bottom so I'm going to keep you guys focused in there to put the vehicle speed well I'm sorry <laughs> wheels are going to tell us the speed I'm going to turn the light off because obviously when I went to uh, do the test on the vehicle I didn't have any uh, high beam lights on so I know the numbers are going to be a little hard to read so just check the the graphic that's going to let us know if we have any difference in between one or the other. It's coming out of the shop. I don't think I even was using the the um, air conditioning when he came in the morning. He came first first time in the morning. Right now it's like 2:30. 
turn all the brake lights on because it's kind of disconnected. That's very normal. Um, so we can yeah, close this so we can get all that blur in there. Hopefully when I turn around, we're not going to get it. Hope you guys are seeing everything good. I will show you the data that I saved first on my driving. I didn't record that on the starting of the video, but I, I did throw the car in the morning first. But I, you know, I saw that uh, difference in voltage that I didn't like. And again, you are not going to do any diagnostics till you correct the battery voltage. It's very important. I'm very happy for what I'm seeing. Normally the ABS activation happens when you're going to really slow speeds. So three, five miles per hour, you don't really need to go fast. And what we're looking for is to make sure you know that both sensors are reading the same, or four sensors in this case, but you know our concern is on the front left on the front right. So I'm going to stop the vehicle as you will see very soon. And I'm going to start very slow. Sorry for the glare. I will show you the data on the shop. I think we gotta fix on this too as well. I don't see any difference before. It was very, very erratic uh, readings. On this same speed, I was reading like three, five, and one, and then zero on the other one. Right now, there's just perfect image of the other one. So. into like 15 20 miles per hour that's what I did I'm just going you know around the plaza where I work I'm going to take from zero that's how I did it in the morning too yeah they're both very very good I can see exactly the same graphic on both sides so again for me this is a fix very important when you see something like that I mean somebody else would have just throw a sensor in there and it would have be I mean two hundred dollars in the car will come back. So take your time, think, and fix the basics first. Definitely battery voltage. You cannot do anything if you don't have the right voltage on the on the computers. Going from 14 to 11, 12, definitely spikes in there. They're going, especially with the BRS uh, sensors for the ABS. I mean, for the yeah, for the ABS system, those are you know very very specific. least the computer to read you know what they're producing so I'm going back into the shop on the shade I want to show you guys the recording of the data that I have from before so again I can call this a fix I don't see any any difference on these two sensors or neither the back ones the battery stay as far as I can see let me also check that information myself on the vehicle with nice AC <laughs> A little hot today, not too crazy, but it's hot. So let me uh, pause this right now. And let me go back to this is how you do it. You can just go back here again. You know, everything seems to be very normal on the ABS readings. You can see it's perfectly. But I mean, I can almost enclose each one with the other one, and they're like pretty much the same. Let me check the battery voltage now. Let me up and uh, check the whole recording make sure we always stay on you know normal parameters I don't like that drop in there I'm gonna drop to like 1280 which is still close and immediately went up to like normal and nothing happened in there okay so this side looks pretty good let me show you the recordings that I got. This is a nice feature on, on the barrels. You can record information. So, on the Odyssey, let me run it. Oh, this one has some hits. And the system, so Honda, Honda, Honda. It's gotta be the first one, I think. This one. Yeah. This is the piece that I have in there.
So these are the ABS sensors. I got, uh, let me see, this is RPM, left run, right run. Let's see if I can move this one up so we can take a look at the ones we need. It's very hard sometimes to move these ones. right front and left front so if you see the image on this this is the left front that's the right the right front we have one glitch in here and look we have four here and again I was almost in the same speed you know like from zero to uh, from zero to like 20 miles per hour and it was not reading correctly because it look 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 the speed I mean, I, I was not on zero all this time. I was zero and then, you know, eventually going up to 20 miles per hour. But that was weird reading. So, I mean, you can see the, uh, that's the RPM. Okay, the RPM is gonna tell me, I don't think we have a speed, except for the, obviously the speed sensors on each wheel. But you can see me accelerating from, you know, 50, let's say, you know, the 50 frame like a hundred we had accelerations in here 50 to 100 we had only one pick we have two picks in here we have only one on the left over here so it's gonna and we got 50 to 100 nothing in there so again this this is weird recordings on on what we had before and also check the battery voltage you know uh, same thing you know if we see from as soon as I was reaching, if you see the point what, 2, 225, around 225, I was cruising to around 20 miles per hour, and then boom, dropped to uh, 11.75. So this is, this is the issue that I saw in the morning. Let me exit here. And these are the other peaks that we have, that I have saved before too. And these are battery voltage and main relay. I didn't have battery percentage on this one. And we were looking at the same. This is on the engine, the computer. The other one was in the anti lock brake system. And that's what, you know, like in here, you can see we're 11.6. I mean, that's no way you can keep a car running running good like that. So let's close this. Let me go back to the scanner. All right, now, uh, let me check the boarding. I got the AC on, that is on. Momentarily when you put those lights, it, it does it does a drop, but it stays on. That's the high beam. I put the radio on. Oh, so I gotta do that for him too. So since I disconnected the you know the battery, right now everything is off so. So let me do the exit from here and let me go back to the engine computer. I want to shift more of that uh, accessory data. I will make sure the camera is focused correctly as soon as I customize this. So I'll deselect all our PMs. AC is clutch, that's also necessary here. Control, battery, and I don't even need a relay. Alright, so let's go there. That's kind of good. So the one we need right now, let me set up that. Battery is staying in 13.1. So this is still good. It's not reaching, you know, 11. Those things are going a lot, man. But I have no issues right now. And that's because I drove the car, so it's very nice and hot. Again, you know, as soon as you turn that off, it's definitely going to come up to the normal operation. What is the percentage of the alternator now so 
was 92 percent 94 percent it definitely has to 98 percent the fans from stop hot he's just working very very hard that alternator is in a hundred percent I don't like that I cannot call that bad because I don't have any uh, goes I believe right now is staying in 13 with all the loads for sure I mean, you can call that a good alternator. It's sustained good voltage with all the loads on. As soon as you turn off the lights and turn everything off, which is 13.7. I guess that's what this alternator is producing. One difference that I see too is that the other alternator was doing like 40% an idle, this one is doing 52%. So I guess it's trying to charge that battery more. Let's turn the car off quickly so we can see the, the battery voltage. It's not a C11.8. So that battery is very, very weak. So that's also part of our issues here. The battery is very low. So it's starting good, but the battery is low. That's why we have right now this issue with. Uh, 13.5, 13.6, and you know, 60 or 50 something percent on the on the percentage of charging. Trying to bring that battery to the right level. Sorry for that. I'm going to open the hood again and check that battery voltage out the battery. Make sure we got the right reading too as well. But before it was very very close to to what was there. All right, I left the car running a little bit. It has the AC on for sure. <laughs> I wanna show that, you know, it's charging very good right now. I'm going to um, turn it off for a second and uh, put the ignition on so we don't lose the data on the scanner to compare, you know, the battery and the scanner. So I just went on and off. So this in here is telling me 11.7. And we have 12.1 12.8 so definitely the battery is low so I'm going to do a test with this one this is a nice thing of, of this one I'm going to put the uh, CC's from the battery it's supposed to be 550 I don't know how to do the 50 in this one but well let's do the test so it says that it's low it's low okay I find it's just low K and it's 610. Hmm. So it just needs to be charged. So that's why we were looking at a little bit of a low voltage. It's still on the right spot, never on 11.6 as I saw in the morning. So I call this a complete fix. Just, again, just the battery needs to be charged more with a new alternator and, and it has a good charge, the car is starting good, I think it's not going to have any issues. Okay guys, so this is it for today. I hope you guys like the video and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, we have the little bell on the right side if you want to have, you know, warnings or uh, messages when one of my videos comes up. And again, don't forget also to share my videos to your friends. Okay, see you next time.